Hello and welcome to the Trial Online YouTube channel. This is the Garmin Forerunner 920 XT Multisports watch. It's been a hugely anticipated device for 2014 and I'm really excited to get it on test on trialonline.com where we'll bring you a full in-depth review soon. In the meantime, I wanted to bring you just a short video about what it looks like on the wrist and also what you can expect when you take it for its first run acquiring that first GPS fix. So here we are in sleep mode. We can wake it up by pressing the button on the left hand side of the watch and then the enter button. You can see there it takes you straight into the run mode, 10 minutes waiting for the GPS fix. It's looking for that now, it's ready, that was very quick, and it should tell me when I've got a connection to the HRM run belt as well. There we go, that's connected because I'm wearing the strap now. That means I'm ready to go for a run. I'm going to do this by pressing the enter button, which takes me onto the first screen, and then by pressing it again, it's going to take me into the actual run. Now if I walk along, I'm not going to run as it won't be a clear shot for you, if I walk along, it's going to pick up the pace. This is the primary screen that I like to see when I'm running. Pace at the top, distance in the bottom left hand corner, average pace in the bottom right. You can use the up and down keys to then move between your data screens. I've got three set up here. At the top of the second one here is the heart rate and the bottom is the cadence in steps per minute. What's really good about this watch, you don't need a run pod here. It's just being done, the cadence is just being done by the watch itself and also the HRM run belt, which had its own accelerometer. Going down again to my third screen, I've got the time of day and the elapsed time, showing me the duration of the activity. If you go down again, you'll have the screen here, which is for the running dynamics. This is a really clever feature, and I'll be talking way more about this in the full review, but showing you the cadence, the vertical oscillation, and also the ground contact time. In fairness, I'm not going fast enough to show that off, but it's a really useful feature and something really clever about this particular watch. There's so many other features I'll be talking about in the full review. Head over to www.tridonline.com for the full review. And thanks for watching.